Hello, welcome back to Gas Beauty Room Tabletop Football, where today we're going to do something a little bit different in that we're going to have a conversation about pitches and how we attach them to uh, whatever baseboard you're using. And to do that, we have to uh, refer back really to how I started uh, Gas Beauty Room Tabletop Football and what I did in going about uh, putting a pitch on a bit of MDF. Now, all this comes about because I uh, had an email today off uh, Rich Creed, another email, uh, and he was asking about that because he's setting up his pitch and he wanted to know how I set this up. Now, if you go way, way back way way back in the day to i think it was episode 1616 or 016 uh, of gas beauty tabletop football i was talking about uh, a new pitch i had at the time which was the uh, table football monthly muddy pitch and i did then demonstrate um how i attach the pitch to um to the to the board to stop it slipping about uh, but I didn't, I thought I'd covered it in detail in another video, perhaps I have in some of the other videos in between then and now, um, but number 16 certainly sort of gives an idea and some imagery of how I've done it. But nonetheless, we're going to go through it again today. So that does mean moving the camera about a little and we're going to start down here in the corner. Now, I'm going to jiggle you, jiggle, jiggle. Now I may zoom you in at some point. Let's see how we get on. Now we're gonna move a few things out of the way. We've got rovers down here. Let's uh, move them out of the way. They're getting themselves ready for rovers versus uh, bohemians, which is coming up sometime this week. Right, let's see what we're talking about. So this pitch, uh, which you'll see all the time in my matches, because it's my favorite pitch, is a custom pitch made by Sabutio Asylum. It lays pretty smooth on the surface we have, and it is not attached down to the pitch in any way, shape, or form. So there's no glue, there's no pins, there's no tape, and there's no anything. It's just laid itself by its own weight on top, if I can lift it up, move a few bits and pieces out of the way, on top of an old nylon Sabutio pitch. Now, when you look at that, uh, that looks pretty smooth. And I know what you're thinking, when you get these ones out of the Sabutio boxes, they don't look anything like that. They're usually really crinkled up. And when you lay them out, you think there's no chance this will ever get smooth. Well, I'm telling you now, right? If you put it down on a board and then put something on top of it, like another pitch, and just keep it there permanently, uh, it will, it will end up as smooth as this, because that's all this is. This may look like it's glued down. It's not. Although it is, because it's been flat for so long, it just looks like that. Now, when I pull it up, it looks like it's sort of pulling a bit. That's because round the edge of my board, I've got this roofing felt, and I really only put that there for, um, for effect because it looks a bit like tarmac. Underneath, you will see this funny-looking surface. Now, this is where the story starts. So... When I wanted to um, start off Gas Beautyo Tabletop Football and get into the Sabutio, um, I got a free to collect a dining room table, which cost me nothing. That's what is underneath here. And then on top of that, I bought a uh, large piece of MDF board from B&Q. And then I had, uh, initially, I got an old nylon pitch and I glued it down onto this board. And the glue I used, I managed to dig this out out the back of the cupboard, was this stuff. Other spray ad adhesives are available. But basically, I sprayed this on the MDF uh, and then layered down a different one of these nylon Sabutio pitches. And the idea was I could get a nice smooth surface. I tried playing on it, but I'll be honest with you, it went like rock hard because it had the glue in it and it was stuck to the board. And it was so hard that it was almost like just playing on the MDF itself. So it was a little bit useless, really. And it just really didn't work out. Anyway, so when I realised that hadn't worked out, as you can see from this green on here, I basically ripped it off. So 
that pitch was completely destroyed. It turned into rags coming coming off. It just ripped to shreds. And eventually I got it all off. And then I was going to think, I was thinking, perhaps I should flip the board over and use the other side. Um, but I laid down a pitch on there, a nylon pitch. And what I noticed is that um, where this has been glued before, and it's got a bit of the sort of green fluff on it, and it's... It feels not quite as smooth as um, the original MDF because it's got a bit of dry glue, a bit of old pitch on there. And when I find you layer a pitch over it, there's enough sort of almost like Velcro tack underneath that it keeps the pitch in place. So you can smooth a nylon pitch out uh, and then without adding any more glue whatsoever at all or any more pins or anything like that, um, that keeps the pitch in place and then when you add that to uh, it being there permanently you end up with this lovely smooth surface surface on which of course you can put your choice of pitch and I've got this one now this one you may notice when I'm playing occasionally it does get a few wrinkles in sometimes the heat sort of changes it so it gets a few wrinkles in but overall I think it sits pretty well on top of that nylon pitch and that's uh that's basically the method i use so there we are so whilst you may think that the whole board is covered in this uh roofing felt it's not uh because obviously underneath we saw that board there so that's just the edges uh, that does perform a bit of a useful function in that when this pitch lays on top of it, it sort of grips it a bit as well but it's not underneath the areas where you're playing so that is how I layer pitches here at Gaspugo Stadium. I hope that clears that up. Rich, I hope that answers all your questions. And that's very useful for you and anyone else that is looking to build a stadium. All right? Right, good. Hope that all worked for you. Until next time, up the gas.